Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will start creating a web UI test in test project. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. The process of creating a web UI test in test project is very straightforward. We have to do these five steps. Step number one is we will create a project. Then we will create a new test in the project. We will then record the test, add the test steps and then finally add the validations. I will also show you how to run the test and then how to see the reports and all through this session, I will share some useful tips with you. So let's get started and let us log into test project. So I have logged into my test project account and here we have a option to create a new project or add a new project here. I will click here and you can give any name to this project. I will say this is first web project and you can give some description here which is optional and then click on the create button. Now this creates the new project and you can see this is the screen. Now we can start creating a new test. We have multiple options to go to the new test. We can click here, create a test or add a new test from here or a new test button here. I will click here and now we have the option to select the platform. I will select web and go to next. Here I can give a name and a description to my test. I will say this is sample login test and the test I'm going to create is, let me show you. I'm going to this orange HRM website and this is the link. I will also provide all the links and references in the description of this video. So you can check the links there. And here we have a login page. We also have the username and password that we can use and then we can log into the application. So this is the link I'm going to use. I will copy the link and here I will say this is sample login test and here I can say demo test on orange HRM website. Now here you can use any of your own website for testing. Also there is a example website from test project which is this example.testproject.io forward slash web. You can also use this. So you can use any of these applications. I will provide all the links in the description. So here I will say next. Now we have to select a URL or give a URL. Now in case you have some application already added, you will see that in the list here. However, as of now, I do not have anything added. So I will click on add a new application for testing. And I will say this is orange HRM and give the URL here and click on finish. Now I will be taken back to the earlier window where I can select this and it is already selected. I will say next and we have the option to record, edit or create a blank test. Now I will show you other options later. In this session, we are interested to record the test. I will click on record and start testing. Now it will open the application on a new tab or a new window of your browser. You can see here it has opened it in a new window. This may take a couple of seconds and you can see now we have got our application here and here is the window where we can see our steps and here you can move this window to any location on your screen. You can also collapse it like this and then we have all these options. So I will show you all this later. Let me first start creating my test. I will go to the username and here I will click and you can see whatever action I'm doing is getting recorded here. So I will add the username here, admin. And it is recorded here. Then I will add the password, which is admin123 and then click on the login button. So you can see all this is getting recorded. Now test project has a very powerful option for validations as well. So 
suppose I want to say uh, let us say we have this welcome admin text here and I want to validate this so I will just highlight this and you can see on your screen it is saying double shift to freeze the element so I will just go here and press double shift on my keyboard and you can see all these options action validations attributes save element as of now I am interested in validations and here I just want to check contains text I will click here contains text and here it opens this window where we have all these options and here we have contains text so I will say the text is welcome admin this is what I want to verify and I will click on create and this is done and to stop the recording I just have to close this window or this browser window I will close this and here you can see the test is created now if you click on this test it will open the details so you can see the test name here then we have the application name the URL and the last modified details and here you can see all the details and the steps of your test case you can click on any of the steps and you will get the details and if you want you can do any updates or edits from here for example if you want to change the failure behavior you can select from here or if you want to change the timeout everything you can handle from here if you want to disable this step you can disable it like this so I will click cancel also if you go to this drop down you can see some more options like disable duplicate and delete the step and if you go to these three dots here here you can rename the test case for example you can rename it from here and then we have options for settings input output parameters and assign to a job this we will see later so for now let me go back I will say save and exit here now here we have done the first five steps and you can see how easy and quick it was now we have to run the test and see the reports now here you can see we have a jobs option here so we will create a job and we need jobs to run the test on different platforms or with different browsers I will click on add job you can also click here so I will say add new job and you can name it anything I will say run web tests you can give some description and you can select the platform so this is for web and I will click on next and here you can see we can select the agents in the earlier session we have seen how to add agents so it is giving me the options of the agents which are already added also if you see here in my case an agent is already running so therefore it is showing this as green so your agent should be set up and running I will select this agent which is running on my system and you can actually select any of your agents which are in a running state and then as I select this agent so if I select Windows you can see all the browsers available there on that agent if I select Mac OS which was the agent I created in the last session I have the options of these browsers on this agent I will select Chrome and say create now here I have to drop my test case so that it can be run in this job so you can just drag and drop it like this also if you see we have this option to create new folder and you can organize your tests into folders so I will create a new folder I will say this is demo tests and you can give some description which is optional I will say add and now I will drag and drop my test case in this demo tests folder so if I now go to the demo tests you can see the test is now available here now I will drag and drop to the job like this and now this is available here also if you see here we have these options to edit or go to the test case or delete and you can also attach a data source we have not done that as of now and if you see the job options we have options for email so here you can manage email notifications 
schedule a job you can also schedule this job or you can run it or delete from here so as of now i just want to run this job here we have some more options i will just go and click on this run button so this will start execution and make sure your agent is running you can also see here my agent is there so this is now starting the execution of our test and this is done now to see the reports you can go here to the reports section i will go here and here you can now see the reports so everything is passed you can also filter it from here these are the filters so everything is looking fine now we will have a separate session on reporting now this is a very high level overview of reports if you want to see detailed reports you can go back and here on the job section you can see we have this icon for reports you can go here so I will go here and you can see some detailed reports here for your test here we have the start time the time taken the details of the agent and we also have an option to download a PDF file here here you can see your test and its status you can also see the detailed steps here you can see all the steps here and if you just want to see the failed steps you can check this and then if you want to see at job level you can go here and see the status here and the results and at the project level so these are different options of reporting I will have a separate session for reporting later and this is how you can create and run a web test I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.